Hello everyone. Today we'll learn about chemical bonding. In this formation of a bond between two elements, whether by transferring or a sharing of electrons, to get its nearest noble gas configuration. Main aim of bonding between two elements is to get more stability and to get its nearest noble gas configuration. Why we are taking only noble gases means noble gases are stable by carrying complete filled shell and its complete octet electrons. Octet means 8 electrons. So you know already noble gases means helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon. All these are called as noble gases because they are carrying their 8 electrons in their outermost shell. That 8 electrons are called as octet electrons or octet configuration or they are following 2 n square formula with a complete filled outermost shell. That's why remaining elements are also there trying to get that configuration by formation of bond. There, there are two possibilities of bonds there. By transferring of electrons they can form ionic bond and one more type of bond is covalent bond which is formed by sharing of electrons. Let's take ionic bond now. Ionic bond. Ionic bond is formed by transferring of electrons. Transferring of electrons. Let's take one example. Magnesium Cl2. That means magnesium chloride it is a molecule which type of bond is present in between these two elements here let's draw the lewis draw structure of magnesium magnesium here i'll draw magnesium chloride, magnesium, atomic number is 12 and write its electronic configuration K2 L8 M2 electrons. What is its outermost shell? The last shell whatever it is there in that particular element that is called as its outermost shell. K1 L is 2, M is third shell. Okay, so outermost shell of magnesium is 3. So how many electrons are present in this outermost shell? There are two electrons in its outermost shell. That electrons we should take magnesium and outermost valence electrons are equal to 2. Now find out its nearest noble gas. Magnesium is 12 and neon atomic number is 10. This is a noble gas and its atomic number is 12. It is magnesium is nearer to the neon. Its atomic number is 12 and its atomic number is 10. That means magnesium to get like a neon it should lose two electrons from its outermost shell. Then magnesium will get neon configuration because K2 L8 M and neon configuration is K2L8. It is the outermost shell of neon and it has octet configuration that is 
eight electrons. If magnesium, if it lose these two electrons, it will get neon like a configuration like this. So to get like that, it should lose these two electrons. Okay. Now I am representing that magnesium 12 electrons minus two electrons. These two electrons are minusing. That means subtracting. Then I will get magnesium ion. It is indicated by, ion is indicated by one sign. As magnesium is losing electrons, I should put plus sign. And this number indicates the number of electrons lost by this magnesium. Here, magnesium lost two electrons. That's why I kept two here. And lost, electrons lost means it indicates positive sign. Mg2 plus. In this molecule, I have chlorine. Valency of magnesium is now 2. Take chlorine. Chlorine configuration is, its atomic number is 17 and configuration if I will write here L8M5. Find out its nearest noble gas. Chlorine is 17 and its nearest noble gas is argon with 18 electrons. Let's write argon electronic configuration. Argon 18 is equal to K2 L8 M6. 8 plus 2, 10. Here it is, sorry, 8. And here I should write 7 because total together in the M shell will get 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 7, it is 17. So, 17 electrons. And for argon, it is 18 electrons. To get like an argon, chlorine should get one more electron. Getting one more electron is easier than losing seven electrons. So, what it will do, this car chlorine has to gain one electron. Now, I am representing that chlorine. It should gain one electron. So, I am adding one electron. Then, I will get chlorine. Gaining indicates negative sign. I put only one negative I didn't give any number here like this because it has gained only one electron so one negative gain in indicates negative sign with one electron so chlorine got now one electron so I can call it as anion and this is called as cation these two are ions Now let's represent ionic bond formed between these two. Magnesium 2 plus, this magnesium 2 plus I am taking chlorine with negative. That is called as chloride ion. How many chlor chlorines are there here? Two. I have taken only one and one more chlorine also the same way it gains one electron and it will become like a anion chloride ion one more chlorine i am writing here this magnesium has two electrons one electron is giving to chlorine and one more electron is donating to this chlorine okay the element which is giving or donating electrons is called as donor or electron donor and which is accepting is called as electron acceptor. It is a electron donor and it is an electron acceptor. There are two 
chlorine atoms here after gaining one electron each chlorine will get magnesium will get two plus and each chlorine will get negative so there are two chloride ions mg2 plus and two chloride ions now i can write according to criss cross formula magnesium 1 and chlorine is 2 then mgcl2 mgcl2 cl2 as magnesium valency is 2 i wrote 2 chlorine valency is 1 I wrote 1 and crisscross after exchanging Mg1 chlorine to MgCl2. So the bond or a molecule is formed by donating electrons and accepting of electrons and in this molecule totally ions are involved cation and anion that's why we are calling this molecule as ionic or this bond formed between these two is called as ionic bond and this is ionic molecule with this i'll end my topic thank you